Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. This is Unité 13, leçon V. And in this lesson, we'll end the series of videos about le pluriel des noms composés. Okay? And we'll see actually three different uh, types of uh, noms composés in this video. Okay, so we'll start the, uh, with the first one, and the first one, actually it will be un nom composé, so the first part will be un nom, then the second part will be une préposition, and the last part will be un complément. Okay, so we'll don't worry, we'll see an example. Uh, and in that case, well, in like 90% of the cases, uh, the rule will be that it will be only le premier nom that will take the mark of the plural. Okay, so we'll see... Just one example, un arc-en-ciel, okay? So it's actually quite interesting, so the meaning is here, rainbow. And um, if you have a look, so you get first arc, and then you get the preposition, and after that you get le complément, ciel, okay? And so if we respect the rule that we saw previously, it's only the first part here, so le nom arc, that will take the mark of the plural, and then it will be s. Okay, so you will have un arc-en-ciel, and then the plural form, des arc-en-ciel. Okay, you can see that as usual, we don't really pronounce this final S, so phonetically it's almost the same, but then we've got this liaison between the two, des arc-en-ciel. Okay, second situation. Un nom formé d'une préposition, or un préfixe, et d'un nom. Okay, and so in that case, le nom prend la marque du pluriel. Okay, so we'll see an example. And it's a good example and quite useful here. Une demi-heure. Okay, so demi is a half, and then heure, hour. Okay, so in that case, you get this demi first, and then you get this heure. Okay, and so if we respect the rule that we saw, it will be only le nom like here, so er, that will take here the plural. So you will have to put the s at the end of er, and you don't touch this prefix demi in that case. Okay? Des demi-heures. Une demi-heure, des demi-heures. Okay? And last but not least, un nom formé d'une phrase, locution adverbiale, deux verbes, ou d'infinitif. Okay? And in that case, the good thing is that you don't need to touch the word at all. Okay? So it will stay the same whether it's at the singular form or at the plural. And then just wanted to give you this beautiful one. It's one of my of my favorite. Un je ne sais quoi. Okay? Well, it's quite used in English as well, but then I just wanted to uh, give you uh, maybe a more clear uh, translation, okay? So, un je ne sais quoi, and then if we respect the rule, then des je ne sais quoi, so you don't touch at all the word, you just put it like that, no s, okay? And then phonetically, of, of course, it's the, it's the same pronunciation, okay? Un je ne sais quoi, des je ne sais quoi. And that's it. Yuppie, yuppie, it's over. Uh, if you want to check or to have uh, more videos, then they are right here on YouTube. And then uh, like me on Facebook, I will be so happy. Uh, if you want more material, then you can find it right here, www.imagier.net. Uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.